Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to talk about uh, another uh, simple but powerful uh, thing called reachability. These days, people are uh, really mobile and they can move anywhere they want and they can be in a place where they lose connections. Uh, we don't want our app to behave weirdly when the connection goes off. So we need to constantly check whether you are connected or not so that accordingly we can handle and we can gracefully handle our app uh, so that our users won't experience any weird behaviors. Uh, in iOS, this term is mostly known as reachability. Uh, we have uh, multiple framework available to do that. Uh, there is a framework uh, available in or or a feature available in alarm of fire to check reachability then there is a separate uh, another uh, reachability class uh, available uh, by ashley uh, mills so yeah there are lots of uh, uh, things available out there to uh, check the reachability some people uh, try to open up google and see whether it open up but anyway, uh, in this video, we uh, will look at a connectivity monitor uh, using Alamo Fire's Network Reachability Manager. Yeah, as uh, and as always, like uh, I have written this code code already, and I will be walking you through uh, how it is being done. Okay, let's go. So uh, in this video, I am going to apply this particular connectivity manager to one of the uh, project which I have did already uh, so this what this project does is it downloads uh, adjacent data from a web service and saves it in the core data yeah and let's see uh, this is just one file I call it as uh, connectivity manager in the connectivity manager I have a local enumeration status uh, whether it says uh, online or offline then I have a protocol uh, which is defined as a connectivity listener uh, which has one method uh, network status to change which uh, sends a, a status parameter uh, basically this uh, status enum to whoever want to listen uh, then I have created this connectivity manager as a singleton so when you create the shared instance you first uh, create uh, configure the reachability manager so this is how we are doing it. We are creating a reachability manager. Uh, then uh, this is a local variable. At any point of time, you can query uh, this uh, variable to check whether the network is reachable or not. Then you have a list of listeners. Uh, like whoever wants to listen can add themselves to this uh, listener uh, list then in the configure uh, reachability uh, like we handle the reachability listener like whenever there is a status change uh, you will be notifying uh, the other listeners who are listening to the connectivity manager so this is the alarm of fire network reachability managers uh, listener so whenever Alamo Fire finds out there is a change in uh, a network status, this listener gets triggered and we will be checking the status and accordingly we send the status to whoever, uh, or maybe the view controllers or whoever is listening to the uh, status. So we are handling the unknown, not reachable uh, and the reachable. So if it is unknown or not reachable, we are sending it as offline, else uh, it is going to be online. And in the notifying uh, listeners uh, method, you loop through all the available listeners and send the update status. This can be done in a different way. Uh, mostly people, some people use notification uh, as, an, as a way to uh, uh, let others know. Uh, but this, this approach is much more safer uh, because we have total control of handling the listeners and all. Uh, notification of course notification is well known for misuse like people forget to remove observers people uh, forget to uh, clean up the observers which can cause uh, lots of problems uh, here uh, it, this is a bit more clear here also we do need to clear things yourself but it it 
just is more clear rather than uh, notification like you have to uh, find the notification name where it is posted where you have to add observers i mean this is a bit more uh, simplified i would say or uh, which looks more cleaner in my opinion then you have two convenience method uh, to add a listener and to remove a listener then another two method for start listening and stop listening which will internally uh, start the alarm of a reachability to listen and stop listen that's all you have in the connectivity manager uh, so let's uh, recap you have uh, creating a network reachability instance uh, you are setting a listener uh, so that the connectivity manager uh, gets the status updates from the uh, from alarm of fire and then you tell whoever is listening to uh, these changes you tell what is the update uh, using the uh, network notify all listeners and we loop through all the listeners and update the listening update the status uh, then you have add listener remove listener start listening and stop listening that's all now in the app delegate uh, when an application become active you start listening and when the application terminates you stop listening because you don't want to further listen uh, to the uh, network changes that's when you start and the respective view controllers let's say uh, let's go to the view controller in this view controller uh, view controller confirms to the network sta connection status listener and implement the network status did change uh, function so once the connectivity manager gets the uh, update or get the change from the reachability uh, of alarm of fire uh, it f it lets all the listeners know like what has happened and once we implement this method you will be getting it over here now how do we clean up uh, compared to observers it's uh, very simple in the view will appear we add yourself as a listener and in view will disappear you remove it so that it's a bit more uh, cleaner approach compared to observers yeah let's uh, see it in action let's run the app now i am connected i just do a pop-up like you are online i'm just logging it also here now let's turn off the uh, wi-fi so it immediately triggers like you're offline now again turn it back on yes you're back online so that's that's all this way you can uh, you can manage like instead of alert you can probably create an offline screen or something and pop it up whenever this happens and one more other thing would be like probably you can move this code to a base uh, view controller uh, so that this is available to all the view controllers that you have that's uh, one another way like it's it's up to your uh, complexity of your app uh, some apps has a uh, base container uh, view controller which is always visible so uh, we will be implementing this in that uh, so that uh, you can handle it in one place yeah so yeah that's all i want to uh, tell you because this is really a very helpful uh, utility and here you can uh, this is like configurable like most of the network uh, reachability uh, frameworks have the same kind of uh, variables and uh, things so you let's say for example if you are using the reachability class from ashley mills ashley mills right and you can change just change the functions uh, according to the re reachability i think they there they call it as just reachability so, so these kind of features are still available then you can just change the name and make it work yeah that's all Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.